your winter camp is or may experience some wind, let's build some snow walls. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. Blowing snow can quickly cover a tent, which is a breathing hazard. Blowing snow and wind can rattle your tent walls, making noise and making it harder to sleep. So if I'm experiencing high winds at a winter camp, or if I'm gonna leave camp in one place for a while, increasing the likelihood that winds will eventually kick up, I will build some snow walls. Here's how we do it. First, we need a quarry for snow blocks. When we are trampling snow to make our tent platform, we will also trample the snow that we will need for our quarry. The more time that trampled snow has to set, the better blocks it will make. So the sooner I compact that snow, the better. Really be thorough. Trample the area several times. I find that making a quarry that is as big as my tent platform usually gives me enough blocks to produce my wall. After getting the tent set up and the gear stowed away, that quarry is usually set and ready to produce blocks. Like any vertical structure, a wider bottom will be more stable, so I need some wide blocks to make the foundation. I make sure to either cut vertically with a snow saw, which is far easier, or try to keep my shovel vertical as I carve the block edges. I can then scoop and carry. The more I can leave uniform support under the block, the more likely it is to stay intact, so I like to make my big blocks about the size of my shovel blade. I start by placing on the windward side of the tent, and then we'll move to the next most likely side to have wind, should the wind shift, then the next side, and finally the leeward side. If I run out of blocks, I want to prioritize the sides that need protecting. I establish the wall's base one to two meters away from the tent, so that there is room for guy lines and for snow to collect between the tent and the wall rather than on the tent. After establishing the base, I build up the wall, trying to get between one and two meters tall. If I'm in this camp spot long enough, the blocks could melt out over time, even in super cold conditions. The higher the altitude in UV, the more likely this is to happen. So like mending a fence, I need to maintain my snow walls a bit regularly before it becomes a big job due to neglect. How long have you camped in a single cold location? Where were you? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, do all the things. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com or maybe check out this video on the evolution of my cold weather sleep system or even this entire series on being out in the cold. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.